Yo. Come here. Yes, sir. Where are you going? You'll see. But you gotta be quiet. If you make a noise, you gonna get it. I was born into a very wealthy family. My father was the mayor of the city and my mother, she was a lawyer. A very beautiful woman with blonde locks. My father was the most handsome guy and he would shake your hand on the street. And their first son was named Hayden. And he was the all-star child. He was handsome. All the women loved him. He was a tri-sport athlete. The best at everything he did. And then I came along. I was born into this great big family with a big house. Although I never saw much of that house. The reason I never saw much of that house was because I was different than them. Something was a little off about me. So then, they locked me in a room, by myself, in the darkness! I never saw the outside world. I was fed twice a day. Usually by my butler, who would tell me of everything that went on in the world that I didn't know. The outside world! But sometimes, my brother fed me. And when my brother fed me, you knew you were going to get a beating. He used to beat me. He mocked me. He destroyed me. And then he, he'd take the food and he'd eat it right in front of you while laughing. So one night, I, I plotted to run away. Run away from this terrible life that I was living. I ran away. I was walking outside my door, finally seeing this great big house. And then, I'm passing a room and I see my father sitting there. My father takes off his belt, he pins me up against the wall and he whips me. He beat me! And I was crying, and then, as my brother and my mother looked on, and they watched. The next time I woke up, I was in a very unfamiliar place with three children at my bed. I look up and I see a nurse to the side of me and I ask her where am I and she says welcome to St. Anthony's Orphanage. I never saw my family again. Until nevermore. And that man that none of you know, he walked up and he put his foot behind my head, he curb stomped me. So this is a direct message to Hayden. I will kill you at Rise. And that's
up, man? Where's my belt, bro? I don't know, man. Bro! So bro, where's my belt? Yo, that, that creepy dude, the Phantom, might have took it from you. You were supposed to be watching my bed, bro! I was asleep! I was asleep. You were asleep. What do you want me to do about it? Wake you up and be like, yo, bro, you need to watch your back. And the Phantom's right there. I yeah, I do. You're supposed to be watching my back. I was the champ. I was the champ, too. You know what? I got an idea. I already pay you handsomely already, but right now, how about we go to the mall and we scope out some girls and we get up some fresh new duds. You know what I mean? Let's go, bro. Well, we're gonna fix this problem. What the hell are duds? You don't know what that is? No. Shoes. You know, pants, clothing, all of that. Let's go, man. All right. All right, Napalm Ninja not waiting. What's he got to say this week? He got attacked. He got RJ last week. We know that at Rise, these men are gonna square off for the internet championship. About that. I, I need that championship. Like... It's something that I need. And that one that ran away from me, I can't get that anymore. So now, I'm going to fight for that title now. Get in the ring. RJ not going to wait either. When the bell rings, this match will begin. This is for the internet championship. This is not gonna, it's gonna happen right now. Ding, ding, ding. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, it's for the internet championship. The match has just begun and RJ falls out of the ring here. Napalm Ninja getting ready. Na and now RJ, wait, wait, wait a second. Napalm Ninja gonna try to grab, oh my! He just hit him with the internet championship here. And now RJ gonna capitalize. RJ, what? This match has just ended in disqualification in an RJO. Napalm Ninja wins, but still your internet champion is RJ. What the world is that? What was that? RJ standing tall with Napalm Ninja. Oh, and you just spit on him. What a disrespectful man. He is a disgrace to the internet championship. I hope Napalm Ninja comes back after tonight and wins that title. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's the phantom right there. You're going to get him, man. Uh huh. You want my title? You want my title? You're going down. Yeah, he yeah. Let's go. That's right. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, so stupid. B is for what? What is this? Yo, bro, who's it got? What? What is that? Yo, what the hell are you doing here, man? Yo, get out of here, bro. Yo, dude, we'll get what they have here, man. Yeah, I do. Yo, you're the first. Yo, check this out. I'm going to turn it. Yo, can I sit down, bro? Yes. Thank you. We're buying this, though. Are you really buying it? I'm buying But I gotta tell you, we're not buying it because this book is so stupid. Oh, really, bro? Yeah. You wanna know why it's stupid? Well, because it doesn't have us in it because we're hashtag Tsway. Ah! No, bro, let's go. Come on, these stores are so slow. You got some gum in there, bro? Yeah, let me get it out. Alright. Yo, bro, what the hell is this? Yo, what the hell is this? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 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 Yeah, that's just, we'll walk and talk. Come dude, on. Bro. We're in a public place. Bro. Come on, dude. Bro. You want these little damn doors just open? Bro. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to have my back closed. I told you. I'm sorry. I'm bro. sorry. It's bro. Not, it's not. It's not. It's not okay. Look. I know I pinned you. It's not. I just want to tell you. But, but it's not okay. But you know what? Yeah, I have an idea. One, two, three. What? What? Getting, 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 you're getting. If you are, just say you are a superstar. They have no fear, the camera's here, and the microphones, and they want to know. So, a lot
lot of you internet nerds are wondering why I'm here. I'm Hayden Jones, that's all you need to know. But if you dare ask any more, I'm here for Casper Knight. And let me tell you a quick story about Casper Knight. One summer day, hot as this one, we were playing outside, two brothers, um, and I go to my mom, she's at home, and my dad's at work, and uh, I go to her, Casper's scaring me. There was nothing really right about Casper. And my mom knew it, my dad knew it, they did nothing about it. So I took matters into my own hands. I was perfection, he wasn't. I'm the only perfect specimen on this planet. And my brother was a demented waste of a human life. And I had to take care of that to help me. I couldn't have my brother be a laughing stock. I got mocked because of him. I got bullied because of him. And I took a stand. And I said, no more. I didn't need him. Mom and Dad, they didn't need him. So we sent him off. Sent him off to an orphanage. And I haven't seen him since. And then I get text messages. My phone's blowing up. That Casper Knight is facing Brooks Banner in ECW for the ECW title. Why? What has that scum done to get any title shot, any recognition for anything he's done in his wasted life? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Hey, any janitors or water boys? You, stupid, over here. Seriously? This is the kind of service I get when the best perfectionist in the world comes to ECW. This is the kind of service I get. Pass me another Full one, please. Thank you. Unbelievable. So, I'm going to occupy my ring for the whole show because, obviously, you know, Nothing else is happening tonight. Nothing else ever happens on the show. And wait until Casper Knight appears out of whatever dingy sewer he comes out of. So. And if Casper Knight doesn't come out, I'll have to go find him. And now, wait a second, Brooks Banner leaping into the ring now and brawling with Hayden Jones last week. Hayden Jones laid out Brooks Banner. Brooks trying to get revenge here. Hayden Jones calling out Casper Knight, his brother, and Brooks Banner trying to avenge him. Oh, what a nice swift kick by Brooks Banner to Hayden Jones now. Brooks Banner mad that Hayden Jones cost him a shot. At the championship that he's been trying to get now. Oh, and Brooks Banner gets nailed by Hayden Jones. The strength now being a factor with Hayden Jones bigger size than Brooks Banner. And now, oh, a kick to the kidneys here. And now Hayden Jones just manhandling Brooks Banner. Brooks going for a German suplex, but Hayden Jones reverses it now. And now going for a German suplex of his own, but Brooks Banner counters. And now elbows, elbows, trying to prevent this from happening now. And now Brooks Banner maybe going for a DDT, but Hayden Jones blocks it. Oh my god! Brooks Banner landed horribly on that shoulder. And you see him favoring the shoulder. That could be really bad. Hayden Jones now. Oh no. Oh no, this could be bad. He's going to set up for that curb stop. A second. No, 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 no. Brooks Banner. Oh my god, he misses the super kick. Hayden Jones getting out of dodge. Get back in the ring. Like I said, not after you. 
a lethal brawl ending ECW reign. And actually, we have con conf confirmation that next week's going to be a number one contenders match for the ECW Championship at Rise between Brooks Banner and Hayden Jones. The winner faces Casper Knight on ECW's season finale. And we thank you for joining us and watching ECW reign.